Welcome to the Empowered by the Rampant, and welcome back to my Divinity Device and God campaign for the Divine Conquer version 5 mod for Medieval 2, where we're going to continue with the from last time with our world conquest of Middle Earth. Where at this point in time, because I trusted the Otter Solve, I lost every single fucking Nazgul that I had over here on the Gondor front. That's great. That's absolutely wonderful. So, what we're going to need to do is, I'm going to have to kind of reevaluate how we're going to go about this invasion around here. I was originally thinking, hey, maybe I should go, like, push on into Dolmroth a little bit before I properly make my way over towards Minas Tirith. I don't think it's going to be the best idea now. Um, I think what we're going to want to do is, Lin here is going to be a good place to defend. Uh, because we have this bridge battle, and then also, I'm probably going to have basically, like, hey, you, you've got ballistas, decent army in here. Just kind of build this up and try and retrain. Um, I'm going to have it so that we can have Saruman keep pushing. Um, I'm gonna have him like, kind of get some reinforcements from you guys next turn, and then I think I should take Fanyland, and then I can try and have it so I have... Yeah, I have, I have two of these guys. So I can put one in each city, and then those are the two most likely areas I would expect to be attacked, because um, I know there's like Pelar gear over here, but I don't think that would be attacked by Dalmroth, and so we can try and have it so we just defend these two areas against Dalmroth, while we push on in to uh, Gondor, because I think what we'll do is once they are back in about 20 ish turns, 15 to 20 ish turns, I'm going to have them make their way over and start pushing into Rohan, because hopefully by then I'm going to be at Dalmroth. So basically, we'll try and hit Fenulont. Uh, then I think, I know you're trying to scout, I'm trying to remind myself where these cities are. I know there's a couple more. I know there's, yeah, there's uh, Karakas, uh, Karasat. There's that one, and then Pelar gear down here, right? And I think those are the only other... Yeah, those should be the only other cities. So these three, uh, before we get to Minas Tirith. So basically what we'll try and do is take Fenulond, then... Uh, oh, actually, there's this one, too, this one too. So Fenulond, basically kind of do a zigzag pattern up this way. That's what we're trying to do. And we're trying to make sure we defend these two at least. We're still sending reinforcements over this way. Slowly but surely, and then uh, back over here, these things are going better on this side. Uh, I just need you guys to be able to build up the stuff around here so that it's a little bit happier. And then uh, I'm going to be making my way up here to start pushing into Endwaith a little bit more. Because I don't, yeah, because they've got Metraith, but they didn't take anything north of that, right? Like, is, well, is this controlled by... So they control Mangolin. Do they control Bree? They do control Bree now. Interesting. Okay. Well, I will want to be pushing up that way because I want Bree. Because Bree can probably make me a pretty decent amount of money. Um, let's have you guys get some watchtowers around here. So watchtower right there. Back in the Tharbad. Watchtower up here. And then back in the Tharbad after that. Just so we have a bit more vision. So we just need you guys. Let's see, you're just trying to yeah, build that area up. Conversion-wise, it's a 36. So we'll be able to get upgrades there soon. And then I don't think I need all these guys here now. No, I don't. So let's take you guys. I'm going to send you guys up towards uh, Tharbad. Because I can probably just leave you in Tharbad. Um, and then keep pushing. Probably leave this general here too. Just so we have somebody as a general's bodyguard garrison. Uh, but yeah, then we can keep making our way forward. So we could go for... Are gone, but I think I do want to like push up north first. At least I'll, I'll have you scout out and kind of see like what's going on. I still think I want to try and have it so we push up here. Am I at war with the Dunedain? I am. Hmm, that does change the whole thing a bit because I thought Bree was controlled by Bree still. So we'll have to kind of see about that. I'll, I'll see what my scout finds out. Let's see. The Bree has now hit their last stand. It's going to make things interesting, for sure. Let's see, so back over here. Ooh, Fanyland is pretty vulnerable now. Okay, That's first and foremost, uh, we need to get new troops. So I'm going to leave behind the more beat-up units. So you guys, because I want you to be able to try and be retrained at some point. And then I... Let's see, because we're trying to make it so we're having a balanced army. That's what I've been trying to do, which is my infantry all die. Um... So let's see, let's just grab like these guys. Yeah, it's got two skirmishers, two, three units of infantry, one arc. Just grab units, that's good. And then let's grab... I just have infantry then here, so I'll just grab these two. There we go. So I've got you guys, I've got two ballistas. I can push on in here and take that. 
Yeah, let's go around there now. And then we'll just keep gathering more forces. Any excess troops? I'm going to have you guys just kind of sit on the bridge around here, possibly, for right now. So keep trying to do that. Tarnos does need to have a good garrison. You're still trying to just retrain the forces in here. So you can do that. Um, Deathstalk's land. Yeah, that's fine. You guys will be fine. You'll recover. Oh, what else do we got? Okay. Isengard upgrade their storehouse. Um, let's focus on putting money into other territories first. Like, Bregnos just upgraded. So, you are getting your Ballista Maker. You'll just finish that off, but then get your Carpenter's Guildhouse after that. Um, going to Drath. You just got your army up for barracks around here upgraded. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to have you hold off on anything else for right now. I think we'll just have you upgrade the Foundry around here. So, we can do that. Um, you just upgraded your barracks around here, too. Uh, do I already have the barracks upgraded? Or the foundry upgraded? It looks like I do. Okay, so you're good there for right now. Mon Galen. Let's see. For the most part, besides just like wanting to get trolls too, some, a lot of these areas I don't need to get too much. I will try and have you get the better farms around here. Let's see. Eyes and Run. I can say we can get the Ration Hall now. I want to get you guys getting some more trade. Isengard. Oh, you finally get the Warg Breeder uh, for once. What else do we want? Because I want to try and get some more recruits, so I'm trying not to get too much. Get the better foundry around here. Because you guys can already recruit everything, but we now just want to get you to upgrade your armor. Um, Lin here, we need to make sure you guys have the better garrison. So, get that. I've got at least one spy in here, and that's helping with conversion right now. And then you guys can just keep slowly like trying to retrain your forces around here. Um, then, let's see. Balorn. If we want to keep any more growth, if anything... And then better foundry around here. And then I think that's it. Yeah. That that's a oh actually I can get something in Keras. Which I would say for you guys since you're having the um, plague right now. Um you're actually still growing. Um I'll tell you guys get the better grog hall. We'll have you guys grab that for right now. And then do I have enough movement? Doesn't look like they're moving away too. Um I wanna have it so no sleeping here. Hmm. I can't get to the position I want to right now. Oh, Tharbed. Oh, I didn't get anything in Tharbed. Um, shit, I don't have enough money for that. Uh, actually, do any of these things... Yeah, some of these things I can destroy, so let me go do that. And then I can get some excess cash from that, we can probably then build the bear garrison. I really need to remember to check that more often, because there's only often like one or two buildings sometimes that actually are worth getting rid of. But uh, they, they do give me quite a bit of money. Um, so now let's have it so... Uh, I mean, I want to get the garrison first. I would say. Although, eh, guildhouse, we can wait. We can get the guildhouse first, try and grab that, and then these units here, uh, sit in the fort for right now, and then wait. I want to put you in here so I can move forward. Uh, my spy, let's see, so how bad is it around here? Because I know you guys don't control up here. Yeah, you don't control that. Um, I don't have vision over there yet to know if that's still under control of the Dunedain. I think it is. I, I think it is still controlled by them, so we might have it so that... It might actually be better to... Yeah, no, they still control that. It might be better still to actually go around this way. Just because they're going to be, like, kind of focused up in the north there. So we can probably just kind of... Hey, Tharbad's a really good area to hold. We can get a good garrison there. Push down this way. Then we can free Londir. Also, I do have... A mission to take Sudori. So actually... Yeah, I'm actually not opposed to that. So let's start driving some troops around here. So we'll grab some of you guys around here. I can have you guys push into Sudori. These armies, as soon as I can put you into Watch Tharbad, I'll probably start going westward, I'd say. So we can try and do that. And then, because of all that de demolition I did, I now actually have a ton of money, so we're going to get some more rec recruits to send to the front lines to help out Saruman. So keep any more of the Spear Guard guys. Um, and if I can... Berserkers. I still can want to replace these guys at some point, but I don't have enough uh, places right now that can give me just my elites. So keep recruiting here, keep getting more crossbows, and that's about that's all the recruits I can get for right now. So we'll send everybody else, just keep going towards Kalimbel. That's like one of my best areas for you guys to kind of gather around right now, is over there first and foremost. Then we group you up and send you over towards Saruman once you're about a full stack. And I don't want to forget that I do still need to do this assault. So let's get on in here. So let's see what they have in the city. So this settlement here, 
There is a general's bodyguard in here. Everybody else is not that crazy. Uh, you, yeah, just the basic general's bodyguard there. But everything else is okay. So, let's get on in here. Push on into the city. And then hopefully, I'm not assaulted by that army of, uh, Dolom Roth. Because if I'm not assaulted by them, assaulted by them, I'm going to keep pushing into the forces of Gondor. We'll kind of split the army I have currently in the previous city, um, and basically just have those be the two garrisons. And as long as I have at least one unit of stakes in each city, Dolom Roth won't be able to really do much to me. So let's search deployment. Get my ballistas. Let's go over... Let's see. Yeah, that's just not bad over here. So we'll go over here, and then I'm going to take uh, my crossbows here. So go here, start the battle. And then we want you guys to... Adjust a little bit over to the side so that we can get a better sight on the gate. And we'll try and have it so we're going to lure them in. Oh, actually, I should bring my work over this way, too. I'm trying to lure them into just into the city center. And then I can maybe kind of bring my cab in here to open the gates bring my infantry in. Okay, so I decided to just bring my infantry over here. Uh, you guys are now starting to take down towers. They didn't give me an opportunity to rush on in. So we're going to send my forces forward. So we're trying to have you guys take out the general, the captain and cav here. Um, I'm going to have my ballistas take out the towers. Uh, you should be backed up a little bit so you're not shot at by towers. And then, if I can... So we're going to use up my ammo to take out the towers. I'm going to hope that maybe we get an opportunity to like run my um, cav in closer. So maybe have you guys open something. Although, probably what I'll do is just get my um, skirmishers closer so I can actually unload into you guys. But first, we need to just take out the towers. So we'll take out this one and this one. They're big enough targets that they shouldn't be that bad. Number wise, we lost 1% of my forces so far. That's okay. Infantry are getting on in. Let's have you guys do the, uh, Uruk died. Start trying to push on in there, guys. The game's a little laggy because the tower's being destroyed. Yep, there we go. Okay. So now let's take this one out. Rest of my ammo, I'm probably going to actually use to try and shoot this guy. Because that one unit there is, I think, the only skirmisher they have in this army... Most of the forces are infantry, and so if I can get rid of that one skirmisher, I will then have complete range superiority over their forces. So this is a tower. So you're supposed to be firing on that. Come on, I know you guys can take it out pretty quickly. I think you guys are just reloading. There you go. Thanks. How much damage do you guys do per hit? You do 17% per hit. So yeah, that's not going to take long to break. So I'll start moving my crossbows a little bit closer. I would say, um, technically I don't think that tower is going to be on. I'd like to get, like, set up over here, and then be able to just unload in them from this angle. Okay, these towers aren't on initially. Uh, now they are. They're moving their forces, so let me just run back over here. The angle's gonna be a little bit worse, although we've almost pushed through the gates now. So, once we push through the gates, I can kind of get a little bit of a better angle to try and take them out here. Let's see, some of you guys you keep pushing forward through them. Because, number-wise, the only day taking out 18% of the army so far, which is not the best. Honestly, I need somebody to probably just try and, I think, right now... I think I might be able to run through this side. I can try and get you guys kind of run over this way. If anything... Let's see, these are just basic archers. There goes the enemy general. So now that he's dead, maybe you guys will start breaking here now. So we can just start trying to push through you guys. See, like, these guys are already shaking there. Skirmishers are trying to do what they can. Let's see, are you guys going to try and run down here? Ah, uh, yes you are. Yeah, they're running. There we go. Yeah, so now the casualties are going to start climbing. And then... Let's see, those guys, those guys, those guys are already running. Let's see, that's some militia. I think I need to have uh, the wargs try and run on in here. Let's try and see if I can stun them. So my wargs just try and push on through. Get you guys to try and just see if you guys can just start capturing them. And then just start pushing towards the city center. Yeah, because 40% are already dead now at this point. There you go. Come on, can you guys break? No, don't want to break. Get to bring in some of their cav. I'm just trying to break this infantry unit. Because once you're broken, I can just rush to the city center. The there we go. Remains. Yeah, wargs. Just go to the city center and just go try and capture it. Because the bodyguard's already dead. So just kind of fight him. He should possibly break because the cat, the general's bodyguard's already out of there. So you guys can push through him, then we can start capturing the city center. Okay, I was hoping more of you guys would be able to actually deal some damage to this guy with the wargs, but no, you guys got your asses kicked by that captain's bodyguard. Um, they've lost 77% at this point. These guys broke. They have, like, one more unit over here, some marines. Uh, I'm going to be ignoring them for the most part. 
I'm just trying to get to the city center now so we can ca capture it. Yeah, because you guys have finished that off. Push on in here. Take this point. These guys also keep trying to make your way to the city center. So you can just all get up here. Crossbows as well. Try and get set up here so that we can maybe just kind of like unload into units that try and get back to the city center. Okay, there we go. Took only about 400 casualties. It's not the worst. It's about, yeah, 16% of our army overall. <laughs> Almost ran out of time there. But hey, there we go. Fenulund is now ours. Now we'll have to have it so that we're going to be doing is I will be trying to continue pressuring Gondor with Saruman. I want to get to Minas Tirith before the Nazgul return. Because if we can get to Minas Tirith before they return, then we can have it so that's when we're going to start trying to properly finish off Rohan finally. And then we'll be able to meet back up. We'll have a nice solidified chunk of a kingdom and an empire. And we'll then start trying to... I, I think we'd probably want to finish off Dolanroth first, because they're pretty weak, they're pretty small. Um, we could probably finish them off, especially if we can just keep like slaughtering their armies if they make their way in here. Especially since I'm going to have uh, stakes in these armies. So, let's have you guys sack that. Pair, get the shrine. And then we need to get the militia garrison. So, we need a couple turns at least before we make my way out of here. Uh, merge men together, though. Pelagir is pretty vulnerable, but we'll definitely want to hit Brethil first if we can. How is Gondor doing for military, I wonder, right now? Let's see. Their military is dropping. It is. Um, Dol Amroth as well. <laughs> Mine is, is, is too, because I lost all my fucking Nazgul. But uh, that's good at least. So, money-wise, though... I can get some more troops, so let's grab some more guys around here. You, I'm still trying to get the uh, buildings upgraded there. You, I can't really do much else right now. Some of these areas, like they now can recruit those guys. It's just I don't have the, um, I just need more time. Like, you'll be able to get some more next turn. You'll be able to get some more stuff. And I wonder, I feel like I should actually like start gathering some forces around here for when my Nazgul come back. So we can just start gathering troops, recruit some stuff around here, put them into the forts. So we'll at least get, um, I at least have three forts pretty close to this area. So I'll try and fill each of these up with units so that we can eventually at least have a, basically a full stack ready and ready to go to push on in once the Nazgul come back. Uh, the Moranon is besieged once more. We don't care about that. Although it does mean that like at least uh, Mordor is still being pressured rather nicely. So let's see, so for right now, uh, you're in my way. I just still need to sit here for a bit, but you guys are in my way. And I don't want you guys to have to like go all the way around. But I do need reinforcements so I can move out of Fanyland. Um, Okay. Well, for right now, I'll just keep gathering all of my forces around over... Let's see, so I got all of these guys. And making your way over to Tarnost. Because if I get enough men, I'm just going to make another army that will just uh, start pushing forward uh, this way. Uh, you... Can you train that guy? Yeah, you can train some stuff around here. So we're training some stuff. Keep getting some more men. Calumbell. I think it was one of you just uh, was able to recruit some more stuff this turn. Yeah, you guys can. So you can grab some more men around here. Uh, get the more wargs. Get some more pikes and berserkers. Uh, you can get the grog hall around here. Let's see. So Bregnos, they are getting their um, guild house next. The uh, Therangandost. You guys, I would probably say just get the better blacksmith right around here. Cure the Hour, you guys are already getting something. Dolmroth, you're already getting something. And then Baird Vin. Um, let's see, you guys are currently at 30%. That's enough that by the time you finish this, you should be okay. So grab that, and then this too. So keep those, actually, let's just reverse them. Oh, they both take two turns, never mind. Doesn't matter. Um, then you guys, you got the shrine, but you're now getting the garrison, so you're good there. And then that's just being repaired. Okay. So, that's all good for you guys. Back up here. Uh, you're still in the way. Uh, can I get a boat? No. Um. Well, I've got one here. It's just going to take you a very long time to get up there. Because I want to get this guy over here. So I can have them garrison the city for us. I can't recruit anything, so we need to get that vessel up and around here. Um, I feel like what we're going to honestly be doing is, like, once you guys finish this recruitment up... Um, actually, I can just push into it now, honestly. Like, they'll just leave behind, like, these guys. Yeah, they're, they're fine. And then we can just push on in here. This is fine. We just take that auto-resolve. Claim Suitery. Complete that mission. 
And then I need to start trying to build this area up. So repair everything. Let me just double check that you guys actually get use out of each of these. Yes, you do. Because it's mainly like the barracks for these guys is the only thing I don't keep. Yeah. Uh, I think this technically benefits me. Technically. So this is the only thing I'm going to demolish. Okay, so now, at this point in time, let's just make sure we're going to start trying to get the shrine built up around here, lower the taxes, and then uh, we are going to start trying to have it, so we're going to start pushing in this way. I think what we'll do is I... Well, actually, we could do... Let's see. I think... Yeah, fuck it. Let's just do this. So let's just push past you guys. I'm going to have it so this is where we're going to finally split up Kamul and the Witch King. I'm gonna have Kamul be the one that goes down, I say. So first and foremost, let's just kill this army. Oh. <laughs> nope, didn't mean to bring you on your own. Not yet. Um, let's kill this army. Uh, this force here, that's nothing too crazy. Yeah, let's do this battle. I want it to be four to one if we're gonna accept the auto resolve. So we'll take these guys out. I'll have Kamul go down and join up the army that was uh, took Sudari. Then they can both keep pushing, I would say. Cause I feel like for right now, we're sending a lot of troops over to the Gondor front, but I feel like right now we want to actually put more in our effort into this front um, while we're trying to have it so that we're going to wait on the Nazgul. So let's get all of you guys group up here. Ballistas, start the battle. Make sure you have fire at will on. You guys all group up over here. I do love having these guys actually in my army. Infantry, let's move you guys up a little bit. Are they going to pull back away from us? Yeah, it looks like they're going to pull back to the hill. Okay, so let's go up a little bit closer with my guys. So let's kind of go... Let's kind of go over here. Well, these are some brave-ass uh, chariots. They're trying to charge my Nazgul. <laughs> That's a bad idea, guys. That's a really bad idea. Okay, let's see. So I've already taken out 3% of the enemy army. They've done some good damage to me, though. Skirmishers are trying to do what they can. Let's get you guys to try and run in melee with their cav here. Uh, heavy cav. Yeah, brace that charge, then surround and try and fight them. Getting melee with all of these guys. There, right there, right there. All my Nazgul. You can just eat, keep deleting units that you see, honestly. Like, hi! <laughs> Bye! Okay, let's keep moving. Because they've already lost 40% uh, of their army now. Just go off to the side a little bit here. Like, right about there, I'd say. These guys are running. Let's get back you around here. So that way we can try and have it so we can flank these guys. They are led by just a captain. And so I'm hoping that uh, we'll be able to break them pretty easily. Yeah, there we go. I wish I had some cabin in this army. But yeah, just let's see. Got one unit here. You guys are about to break. Cab are still holding. 74%. You guys have got to be close to giving up. There we go. Uh, 77. Let's continue just a little longer. I might get the Magic 85 just with some random shots. Oh, it's 84. Uh, if you... Oh, wait. Barely. Beautiful. Okay. So now, what we'll do is, again, we're going to split them off. I will have it so that, um, because I actually have some Nazgai in this army, I'll have Kumul grab one of them. That way, we still essentially have multiple Nazgul, kind of, in the same army, even if it's only one, uh, actual named Nazgul. So, we'll send him down over towards Suteri. We're going to start crossing the Gwanthalo. And start trying to push on into Edenwaith over here. Basically, I'll be having it so that any of the all the land that is in Gondor, we've gotten to the point basically I can just send everything in Gondor is sent to the Gondor front. Everything around um, Eastern Gwanthalo, I can just send to the Edenwaith front. So that way we can at least just keep expanding in multiple directions all at once. That way we don't have to get bogged down ideally as much, and we're always at least making some sort of progress. Because even though we had that disastrous fight last time, because I trusted the auto-resolve, which I never should. Um, not sorry, not sorry, not sorry, the auto-resolve, I mean trusted the AI to control my troops. Uh, but there we go, so now let's execute you guys. So then let's try and have a so again. I have Kamul, and I'll have you take one of these guys. You're gonna go this way. You go back in there, and then... You technically can't do that much. Um, send you here. You'll be the ones kind of watching over the city. Uh, I want to just grab you a couple reinforcements before I move out of here properly, which basically will just be like, hey, you guys just need to be able to just like actually have them watch over this territory. So once these roads finish up, um, just grab both those. We'll then have some free upkeep units around here. I can then send most of these guys up. And then, oh, actually, we can just try and move them now. Like you. 
Get ready for fighting. Like all of these guys just move up. Yeah, basically leave those four. Maybe just leave those two actually. Yeah, just leave those two units. All of these guys will make their way up. And then I can probably move uh, the Witch King out next turn. Kamul, you'll make your way over here. Try and give me a watchtower down right here while you're making your way over first. But then I'm... Ooh, well, I'm going to wait on that first. Because they still have these armies randomly around here. I hope they move them now that I've taken Sudori. Because after Sudori, next territory I'm probably going to go for with Kamul will probably be Bragost. And then I can have uh, the Witch King go for Aragond. I think that would be a good way to kind of split some, uh, split their attention and do some good damage. But let's try and recruit some more guys. Let's see. So you, you're good. You're recruiting. You can get some stuff around here as well. Let's see. You grip that. Uh, Bregnos can't really get much right now. Karas, you finally recovered from your plague, so I'll now have you recruit. And then that's about all the money I've got. And just everybody else keep pushing your forces forward. Breeze leader is now dead. Shit. Let's see. Uh, I will gladly grab you. Miss Trans B siege once more. Take settlement in Brethil. I'm trying to get there. Let's see. You guys are still in the way of where I want to go. Um, okay, well, this is what we're going to do instead. So, are there mercenaries around here? There are none. Okay, because I want to bring... I want Saruman to go over there. Um, but what we're going to do instead... Let's go... I want to go over there, but I can't. So let's just gather around over here. Because I'm gathering more forces around here anyways. Like, I'm bringing you guys over. I can just have you push forward um, with a full stack army, I'd say. So where is that general I just got? He was probably spawned in Isengard, probably. No, not Isengard. He's around here somewhere. Um, let's see. Lords. He was... Should be at the bottom, I believe. No. Oh, yeah, there's a second one in Gwent. Okay, well, let's have you make your way down here. I'll try and have you catch up to these guys. It's going to take you a while, but I can try and have you guys be the one that probably tries to assault the city of Brethel, because I now have a mission for that, and that'll give me another 2,000 gold, which I think is not a bad deal. Um, Building-wise, let's see. Gwent, you guys are already upgrading something, so that's good. Um, Calumbell has unionized. Good. Uh, then I need to have you guys... Get the better farmhouse so you can get some better uh, food production. Etaland, uh, you guys... Yeah, you're fine. You're fine in conversion. So let's have you get the drill square. Then Tarnost. You got your garrison finally. Get the better shrine to get some more growth and more public order. Uh, Bale, you guys can finally start getting the troops around here. And then Sudori, we now need to have so you just start trying to get the basic militia garrison around there. Get the spy around here as well to help convert things. And you guys are seemingly trying to move away. Perfect. So let's have Kamul then. Uh, keep trying to make your way down this way. And then I'll keep gathering forces to try and give over to you. So once any of these guys finish up, I'll send them over to join up with you. And then you can keep trying to pressure them by going to Bregost. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got a little bit more money, but I don't think I have anything else to build. Not the moment. We're just trying to get my forces together. I want to just move you out of here. It's just going to take a while to be able to recruit from around here. It's at 17% right now, so it'll be a bit until I can recruit anything around there. Dunedain leader is now dead at this point. Okay. Um, I am now... Oh, the corner dragon. You guys finally had your doomstack trigger, too. Fornos is assaulted, and then Mistran has been overrun now. Okay. Uh, what I was trying to say is we are now siege over here at Lenin. Actually, that's a lot of infantry for them. That's interesting. Um, I think we should still be okay. We got a pretty decent garrison around here, so I think you guys will be good. Um, for right now, though, Tarnost, I'm going to have you start pushing forward, go into that bridge. You don't have a full stack, but let's see. So, I don't have anybody in range to be able to get over there to help out with that. Because I can know that you guys are grouping up. I've got a good chunk of you still pressuring forward. Uh, you're getting some more troops soon. You'll be able to get some more troops soon. I think you guys will be okay. At the moment, um, Brethel does not have a lot. So just sit on this bridge. Then we'll have you guys assault that territory next turn. Um, so currently siege at Lin here. And then also Tharbad, which is... I respect. Oh, I feel... I'm so sorry. You guys are not going to succeed. Um... These guys, I'll just sit in the fort for right now. I, I know I want to have you guys move out, but we have to wait until that siege stops for you guys to be able to do some. Um, Kamul, get me a watchtower around here. And then they are finally crossing back there. Okay, good. So now let's just have it. So let's grab all of these men. I'm going to have you kind of group up with Kamul. 
It'll be the first wave of reinforcements. These guys will be the second wave of reinforcements. And I'll be continuing to send more. Ah, uh, crass. Let's see. Lundir can also get some stuff as well here. And then you should probably upgrade your foundry. Construction report. Let's see. Isengard got the war breeder. Let's see if we get to just upgrade the catapult maker now at this point. Um, Eisen run. Um, better foundry as well. Fulberg. Got to get the Grog Hut. And then Anulond. I will say the Grog Hut as well. Let's see. Angrind. You're already getting something. Keras. You. Also better foundry. And is that everything for right now? Uh, no, there's a little bit more, but I do not have enough money to get more stuff for you guys for right now, at least. Other than that, uh, nothing else really going on here. Oh, we just finished some trolls in Isengard. Yeah, there we go. So again, just start gathering extra forces into these forts. I just want to make sure that we have a bunch of troops ready and waiting for when the Nazgore turn. Alrighty, you guys are going to be attacking me here on the bridge, so... I do have at least the bridge here. I just don't like that they are going to be surrounding me. Um, they have got two armies around here. Let's see. So what we're going to do is we'll basically try and have it so... I might die, but we also might survive. They're all led by captains. Uh, what I'm going to do is we will focus most of my army on actually defending against the army that's in my rear. And then I will try and have a smaller force focus on defending the bridge... And once we take out the army that is behind me, I think we can then turn back around here. So, like, what I want to try and do... Wargs, I've got three of you guys. I've got all of this. I'm not sure. So, skirmishers for sure. You're staying here, along with the catapult. So, you're going to stay here. I'm going to then have... Let's see, who has a better defense? You all have the same defense skill. You got a defense skill of 12. Um, you guys have a fight against armor, so I feel like if we're going to leave anything behind, it should be like these guys. Yeah, because let's do this. So I'm going to leave four of you guys here. Like right there and right there. I hope that that's enough. And then I can have it so that everybody else... Uh, it should be right up here. So everybody else is going to be up here to try and kill the army that's coming on in. And then once these guys are dead, I'll turn all of you around. Yeah, here they are. So we're going to go here. Because on the other side, the, uh, the bridge right now is a pretty small force. So like this we don't have to worry about. You guys don't even have fire at will on. I'm actually going to have it so that basically you guys will cease fire for right now. And then just kind of hold as you are. And I'll hope that my infantry here is enough to beat these guys. So, come on, because we just need to push these guys off of the map. Once they're pushed off the map, then we can start trying to have it so that we can bring my forces back. So, get in melee there with all of these guys. Got my wargs in here, too. There go. Let's see how's that gonna go. One to one so far. Let's see, get one of my wargs over here if I can. Try and charge into this guy a little bit if I'm able to. Well, okay, one of you go over here. One of you charge here. And I'll try and have it so that, like, just give support where you can, guys. They already feel like they're losing. So, hopefully, we can win this. Because this just negates any uh, range damage they have. It's just a big old slog in melee. And my guys are not the worst. And you guys are then pushing forward. Uh, catapult, you fire. Yeah, you fire. Do I have scatter shot? No, I don't have scatter shot. I wish I did. That'd make this so much easier. So, like, you guys, yeah, just get a shot in there. Try and break these guys. So I want to see if I can get them to shatter. It's just one of you shooting right now. That's at least something. So, we're not doing the best over here. You guys, uh, I'm adjusting and trying to get uh, to focus a little bit more around here. I've taken out 23% of their army overall. Not the best. Put my captain out there. In routes. He is doing okay. I'm a little worried we're just going to lose this army here. I wanted to get to Brethil, but no, it's not going to happen right now at this point, it feels like. Because I had to hope that you guys were going to win this fight. No, you, you absolutely got your asses kicked. Captain, keep pulling out of there. Uh, oh, they brought... Fuck, they actually brought up and over some of their forces from the other army. Ugh. Okay, well, you guys are pretty much done around here. Let's get you guys to help out. 
You try and pull away. You try and pull away for right now as well. We still have a chance to do a good amount of damage. It's just now I have less men to hold the bridge. Because if this army wasn't here, this would have been a cakewalk, honestly. Yeah, those guys are running. Okay, well, let's put you guys, again, back over here. We're just trying to do as much damage as we can. And uh, those guys are still fighting up there. Let's get you back on the catapult. Can you fucking stop? Noble Death. Yeah, there goes my captain now, though. Yeah, so try and focus on this cab unit here, if you can. Catapult. Can you fuck off? I need you to fuck off. There we go. Guys, catapult, get ready. We're just gonna be trying to do as much damage as we can to these guys. And hopefully then, we'll... These guys will be pushed back. Because I, I could have ran if I wanted to. It's just, I'm on a bridge. And that's so much better for me to try and fight on the bridge than it is to try and push across... So now we can just start trying to, yeah, just start blobbing up here. Because now they're bringing in the rest of their forces. But yeah, skirmishers, just line up here, start firing. Catapult, do what you can. Just keep trying to get some good damage into their forces as they cross the bridge. Because even though I'm going to lose this fight, I'm making them pay for this. I was like, that's some good damage. If I had Scattershot, I could do even more. Like, look at that. Yeah, all my guys back there are broken now. The only force I have now are these guys. Just keep doing what you can, Catapult. I'm really relying on you to just see what you can do. Like, I've at least, like, taken out most of the enemy captains. But I just don't know if we're going to be able to win this. Because, like, you guys... Oh, yeah, there we go. They start pushing past my Catapults. Come on, keep firing, guys. Don't stop firing. Come on. They're in melee with my cat crossbows and the skirmishers, but I can still get some good shots right around here. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Get some shots there. If I had some ca if I if my cab didn't die so early, I think we could have been able to do more here, honestly. Yeah, you guys are broken. I am gonna get like one or two more shots, because they're yep, they're gonna get us off that. And now it's this one last spearman. Trying to do what you can. I feel like seeing your armor upgrade that you've got here now. But yeah, so we took out about 55% of the enemy army. Hopefully, they don't recover everything. It's possible. I'm going to hope not, though, because I tried my best here, and we at least did a pretty good sizable chunk of damage. Okay, 10%. 10% of their army is not bad to recover. I still did 1,400 kills. Yeah. I lost more men, though, but that's okay. We did some damage. Just means I'm going to have to hold off on trying to hit Brethel now at this point in time. I really do feel like we're going to stop trying to recruit the Spear Guard. It does mean we get more bodies on the ground, but... They die so quickly sometimes. Like, against elite units of Gondor, they're they're not good enough. They, they just aren't. So, we'll just have to keep trying to gather more forces around here. I know, like, I'm not worried about the siege we have with Dolmroth. It's just Gondor right now is trying to pressure us. And I want to keep pressuring them and going on the offensive against them, but... I had to lose the fucking Nazgul. We lost our baggage train. Now, let's see. Log, I'll take you. He's currently in uh, Longlan. Fornos has fallen. Wait, seriously? Oh, man, that's interesting. You guys seriously pushing up that goddamn far? Yes, you are. Wow! Anyways, what are you on, guys? Okay. Yeah, I, I definitely think we're going to be making the right play by trying to focus more on the south of them right now. Seeing as how they're really pressuring on the north. So they they have a lot of active wars up there. So I, I'm not going to be able to easily like push up there and stop them. So it's easier to take advantage of the stuff they've got down in the south here. Um, but yeah, no, back down. Let's see what this shit is. Because you grab these guys. Push on out. Grab these guys. Keep pushing forward. Keep trying to gather around uh, Ethering and Tarnos right now. Uh, Ethering, get the Cav. Nothing else I really want to grab over there. I'll grab the Garrison. I will merge you guys together, and then let's let's gather an Ethering for right now. Because I might be able to. Yeah, I can try and retrain some of these guys. So trying to train some of those guys. If anyone, you finally got the Garrison building there. Um, now we need to have it conversion-wise. You're at thirty-one percent, so we're almost there. I'm going to try and have you guys get the better Shrine of Melkor for better conversion, and then try and train that guy. At least... Fresh announcements, construction report. Okay, so, so you got the better foundry around here. Let's get you the Chieftain's Hall. 
Um, the Lorn. Get the better Ward Breeder, I'd say. Here's the Hour. Some of these areas I'm probably going to start putting up Auto Manage, honestly. Yeah, we can get the better Garrison around here, I guess. Long Deer. Uh, you guys are okay at the moment, although I don't like how many men they have around here right now. Um, let's see. So, let's you. Start trying to put Kumul's force together. So gather right there. Then I had some more men that just finished over here I want to grab. And you are good there, but I should have just had some men finish around Karas. So group up with Kamul. Uh, you don't have anything right now at this point in time. Um, we did finish some more units around Isengard though, so we are going to want to move these guys into those forts. Anybody that's not free upkeep right now, so basically just you. So just go over there. Keep gathering more. I find it interesting that Rohan actually hasn't decided to attack us in quite a while now at this point in time. Uh, which was kind of concerning in some regard, but I think is I honestly prefer right now. Just seeing as how it allows me to focus more of my attention onto Edway than everybody. And here they come for Lin here. So let's see. So these guys here, the captain is a cab unit. Um, this is a city, it looks like, yes. So we're going to be taking advantage of the stakes we have. Um, I do actually want them to rush through the gates. <sighs> As I have artillery pieces, I'd rather them try and advance towards me through the gates. I defend the city center, and then we can take advantage of the stakes, use that to kill the calf, and then hopefully, let's see, because where are they spawning from? So they're spawning over here. So let's get all of my men. I wish I had the garrison. I didn't have so many men here, so I have the garrison units. Um, ooh, this is a really small garrison spot. I should be okay, right? Plistas. You can't adjust for everyone. Okay, that's good. Uh, it's a little tight of a space. Um, Fane up here wouldn't help us much either, though. They do have a lot of infantry, though. So maybe it's better to focus on that as opposed to trying to get rid of the cavalry. I do have some wargs. So I do have you. So if you can get them off of everything then we'd want to try and set them up to focus on primarily probably this spot. Um, so let's get all of my infantry up on the walls. Right there, 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 and there. You can get over here, I know you can. Um, so that's all of my infantry. Get you guys off the walls, guard mode on, and then I'll have my archers up on the other sides. Right there, 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 and there. Crossbows will be down on the ground, primarily just waiting until they're in positions to try and actually focus on them on the walls. Um, warg, General's Bodyguard. Okay, so you, yeah, just kind of stay around there. My Warg has to get them off of their Siege Towers first, so that's top priority. I'm hoping that maybe we'll just burn some of them. But for right now, let's just kind of run over here, get them off the Siege Tower, get them off of one, Siege Towers, and then the Ram. That's the most important thing. Come on, just don't break. There we go. Now off of the Ram. We haven't gotten lucky and burned it, so just try and hit them right here. Come on, come on. there we go. Ram's dropped. Now let's pull back. Let them onto just the ladders. And then I'll want to have it so, yeah, crossbows. Well, first and foremost, don't have Fireball on. And I want you guys to then kind of get set up around back here. You can move a little bit over to the side here. And now we just have to hope that we can hold the walls. Which, so far, we've already taken out 5% of the enemy army, which I'm pretty okay with. Alrighty, I've been able to primarily, basically, uh, repel them off of the walls. Crossbows help finish off whatever's left here, because now they've been able to kick down all of the ladders. So what I'll do is, uh, now that you guys are out of ammo, I'll be pulling my skirmishers back, and I'll be letting my crossbows get up on the walls, and we're just going to try and see how much damage we can do to them before the battle ends. Alrighty. Good damage, guys. Good damage. They still had a lot of guys survive. They had that much cab in their army. Damn. Okay, but there we go. We were able to hold out for one more turn. Uh, I'll now be able to actually have it so I'm be able to merge my guys together. And that'll actually make it so we'll actually have some of the uh, garrison units in my city now. Because as long as I have the stakes in here, I should be whole, I should be able to fold against uh, Dalmroth really easily. I do hope that I can grow the city a little bit more. Uh, I would prefer to hold city the city like this in at the city center if the city center was just larger. With how much space we have, we just did not have a lot of space to work with there. But hey, we can hold once, once more. I'm, I'm sending reinforcements over here. I'm literally recruiting as many men as I can over to Gondor right now at this point in time. Um, we're going to keep doing that.
And I'm hoping that I will be able to push forward and try and get to Brethil soon. Because Anuland and Fenuland and uh, Lin here should be okay. I'm a little worried about Tarnos right now. Uh, I have a, I have a garrison, a good enough a garrison there. It should be okay, but I hate that I don't have any Nazgul down here anymore. I have just wait. It's gonna be like what turn like 183, I think it was, is when they should probably be back by. Oh, you poor bastard. You're the one that's been told to try and attack with our bad. Well, let's see how this is. Let's see. So your army, you have a lot of infantry. Um, and then they've got chariots. Nothing too crazy. Um, I am going to want to try and get them onto the ladders if we possibly can. Although, Tharbat is a big enough city that I don't have to care as much. Although, I just want to try and avoid fighting the chariots if possible. So I think I should still send probably the uh, Corsairs. Uh, send them out, try and get them off of the siege towers and on the uh, off the ram. Because then I can just have them focus on. Let's see, so they are over here. Tharbat's also actually pretty good about uh, sometimes just destroying the siege towers, honestly. Um, I do my ballistas, but don't have a good place to put you. Eh, no, not gonna be able to. Okay, so what we'll do is let me get my archers. Get you guys right here, 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 here. So it's all of you guys up on the walls. Group you up. Uh, crossbows, I'm going to have you over here initially. And then I'll put the rest of my men. Let's see, so we're going to have you as a fire wheel off. Group up. And then we'll have it so my infantry is going to be up on the walls where the ladders are. I'm kind of just hoping I'm going to just destroy the siege towers. Let's see right there, there, there. And I can at least have like these two. You can just run out and start trying to get them off the siege towers. Over here, there we go. So start the battles, run on up here, run on over here. See what you guys can do. You're a pretty fast unit, so if you can get them to drop them, that's perfect. Let's see, so 1% have already died. There you go. Get them over there. Let's make sure they just don't uh, they don't drop the ladders. It doesn't seem like they're even gonna use their rams, which I'm okay with. But yeah, run it over here. This one... Yeah, we're actually pretty close to being able to destroy the siege towers. See, that one's at 10%. That one's at 65%. I probably could have let that one get up to the walls and it would have been destroyed by the siege towers. Possibly. Oh, actually, wait. I wonder if I could have had you guys throw shit at them. <laughs> it's possible. Uh, I, I feel like what we're going to do here is let's wait until they like start blobbing off right in front of the ladders and then I'll then let you guys yeet over the walls and then get a bunch of damage that way. Because for right now, at least, you guys are trying... Make your way up onto the walls here. Infantry, I need to make sure you guys are in guard mode there. And then you so far. Let's see, they've lost 8% of their forces. I've lost 14% of mine, but that's mainly the Corsairs who kind of trying to sacrifice them anyways. Uh, you guys are actually taking a lot of damage over here too. Is that from the war wagons? And the war wagons are throwing stuff at you guys. Yeah, I don't see why you guys are taking so much damage. It's got to be the war wagons, right? The war wagons just seem to be throwing stuff at my uh, Corsairs, though. Okay, so I lost about four of my army because of that. You guys are still slowly gathering together. Um, let's see, so this ladder, this ladder is holding a little bit better than the other one, though. No? I didn't even get to use my Nazgul. <laughs> they didn't even blob up. That's fine. We've at least been able to hold now. And uh, I think this is the point where, now that we've defeated this army, I think we're going to start trying to sally out now. Um, we can start trying to make my way over to the west. Tharbad's gonna probably gonna be attacked every once in a while, but it's Tharbad. Uh, we we know how to defend this city, so we'll leave a decent chunk of troops around here to continue trying to defend it. And as long as we can hold Tharbad, I can keep trying to pressure the forces of Edenwaith, um, basically trying to follow along the coast. That's what I want to do. Is basically kind of have it so that we have Kamul and the Witch King split off. They'll start trying to pressure them in multiple fronts then, so we can start trying to push into you guys rather nicely. Because the front with Gondor, I can push forward, but without the Nazgul, it's going to be slower for right now. And so, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get over to Minas Tirith before they respawn. I want to. That's preferably what I want to be able to do right now. I would love to be able to get over there before that. But uh, I feel like what we'll have to do is like, hey, we'll just gather a bunch of reinforcements. Um, for the Nazgul. Um, in the meantime, while we're waiting for them to respawn, once they respawn, send them back over to I guys. Uh, at least this one, I have the defensive units. So that's not anything crazy. 
I'm still gonna I'm gonna want to get them off of that ballista and the uh, and get onto just the walls though. So let's fight this. This might be the last thing we do for today, as I feel like this will be a pretty decent battle. Um, but hey, we've been able to at least start crossing the Guantalo. Um, I've now split Kamul and the Witch King into two separate armies, and I think that should mean that we'll do a bit more over at least against Edwin. Yeah, we had a bit of an issue with uh, Gondor because the uh, the uh, Nazgor are dead around here, so we can't really push as hard as I want to. Um, Ooh, let's see, so you guys here. I do have the stakes in this army. Okay, so what we're going to do, the ladders they have, they're going to want to bring the ladders over here. So, the ladders will probably try and go to this spot. So I'll try and get you guys up on the wall. Actually, I want you guys to be over in reserves. Um... Yeah, we'll send. We'll put you guys up here because I want you guys to be the ones taking the most of the damage. Um, put both of you up here, and I think what we can do is have it so that just this one guy goes forward, tries to get them off the siege tower or the blisters, and I'm talking about the blisters, the tributaries, and then uh, everybody else is going to stay up on the walls around here. You'll stay down because I need you to also put your stakes down just in case they get through. Yeah, right there. And then let's see one more here. That's you three. Uh, this guy over here, and then that should be all of you guys. Then the rest of my infantry is kind of just in reserves until we're going to need you guys. War. Oh, I have some of my wargs. What the fuck am I talking about? I don't need to throw you guys out there, but I'm going to. <laughs> so let's see. So let's, yeah, let's just grab you. Start the battle. Oh, I forgot to put the stakes down, but that's fine. We, we don't intend to let them through the gates, basically. Yeah, you guys basically got them to drop everything but the ram. So I'm going to have to have my uh, cab. You are going to have to make your way out. Get them to drop the ram. Are they using that second ram? Mm, kind of looks like they might be. Uh, but you know, cab, try and get the... Oh, they actually didn't drop the uh, siege tower. Shit. Okay. Yeah, cab, that's what you're here for now. So get them to drop that ram. Come on, come on, come on. Please actually drop this damn thing. There we go. Gets what back. Now we need to get them off of the siege tower. Ladders just got to the walls. And please don't use that other ram. I do have the I do have my warg, so they can still probably get them to drop it. But I need to try and keep my captain alive if possible. So pull back, pull back. It's not moving at the moment. Damn it! They picked the trebuchet back up. But at least right now, uh, they're not doing too much. Like they're trying to get up on the ladders. One ladder's still up there. They're currently. Primarily doing wall damage to the gatehouse, not the actual ram and gate, the gate itself, I mean. So I'm going to hope they just keep missing and they just don't break these down. Otherwise, I'm going to have to bring you back out um, and try and have you go hit the trebuchet once more. It's just defended by all of their cavalry. I, I probably should send this back out there as I can't let them break a wall section. Okay. Done. We're able to hold. Good job, guys. Not as much damage as I would have liked to have done to them. They had so many guys survive. But, hey, we've been able to hold Tarnas once more. And this gives me another opportunity to continue slowly bringing more forces over here. Honestly, I just need a force that can watch over the city that Saruman's in. And I can keep pushing. Like, that's all I really need right now. Because Saruman has got a full stack army. He's got a decent force. He can keep pushing. Um... Even without the Nazgul, we can still make progress. It's just, I'm kind of stuck right now. It's like, it's in an awkward area where I either have to wait until I can recruit stuff itself, or I need to somehow get past that bridge that, well, that bridge is really useful to defend um, Ellen here. It's a pain in the ass to get troops through. And now they're going to be sieging me in Fanny Wall. I really do feel like I'm going to have to, like, like, we're sending reinforcements over here. The Nazgul, they're on their way. I want to go on the offensive. But there's just a lot of you guys around here. Like, I'm going to be able to keep holding. I, I feel like for right now, we're going to be making a lot of progress against Edenwaith. And, like, the front against Gondor is going to slow. Because I can move out of Tharbad probably next turn. And then we can make my way over to Argond, I believe it was. Um, I've almost... Uh, Kumul's almost to Londir, so he can cross... And start making his way over to Bragos. And uh, I think we'll, like, we're going to keep pushing along the coast until we hit Ered Luin. Because I'm not at war with Ered Luin right now. I mean, that's going to be basically kind of the goal right now with that war front. Is try and push to Ered Luin. 
and then we'll kind of sweep to the east after we've been able to do that to finish off Enwaith. I just feel so weird that they're so powerful right now. It feels so weird to me. Let's see. Like, it's, you're still making your way forward. Bunch of reinforcements over this way. Let's see. Tarnost. Yeah, let's see. First repair your walls, then retrain as many troops as you can. So do that. You guys will be fine there. Same deal here. If you guys can, train your train troops. Well, let's see. First merge men together, then retrain. Um, yeah, because now you'll actually have slots for the garrison units. You could train your train around here as well. And then, let's see. Let's have you sit in this fort for right now. This is no move that way. We just save a little bit more money on your way over. Uh, same with you. Kind of gather around this fort. And then I can get some more around here. Um, Lon Galen can get a little bit. You guys, yeah, you know where the siege there. That should be okay. Bregnos just got their guild house. Let's see if you guys get the better ration hall for some more trade. You guys just maxed out your blacksmith there. Um, I'm going to want to get some better growth there for you guys then. Any lawns? Same deal. Grog cut to try and get a little more growth. Methrast. You finally got your armor or barracks upgrade. Hell yeah, so now I can kind of recruit some of those guys around here. Then I would say Chieftain's Hall. Uh, no, no, Armory first. Armory first. Then uh, Baird Vin. You now have some basic troops around here. Although what we'll probably do is actually um, 43. We need 55, 50%. Yeah, we do. So we'll hold off on those for right now. Um, I say get the Foundry for the meet time being. Try and do that. Suri got their garrison building over here. Perfect. I'm going to have you guys... Yeah, we now want to be able to recruit some units over here. You're currently at 23%, so we have to wait a little bit longer. I will probably get the Slave Hall for right now. Grab that. That's about all the money I've got. Kamul now, at this point in time. Um, I'm just waiting on these guys. Yeah, so group up over here. Kamul's got about a full stack army now. He'll probably... I'll make him move over here, get rid of these armies, then he'll cross... And then I have a couple more guys that are finished up in a couple turns that I can give you. Karas, hey, you don't have anything right now around there. But I do think, so merge men together. And then let's see, so... So I want you... Get ready for fighting. Let's see, how is here. this? Because I want you to fighting. take at least these units for sure. That is... Eight more slots... I'd be like taking like all of that. I'm gonna have to hold off a little bit longer. I can at least grab like fighting. most of you guys. Throw you in there. Well, we can have up to like what, three units in the. Oh, just, oh we don't even have the garrison building built up here yet. No, no, we do have to hold off then. So once the garrison building's uh, built up, then we can move out. But I do think uh, this will be probably a pretty good place to end for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts have it in general. But this is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time. Three units in the... Oh, just, oh, we don't even have the garrison building built up here yet. No, no, we do have to hold off then.